Day three is done and dusted at Roland Garros, and we have some incredible matches to get through today. Some huge upsets, some great comebacks, and of course, some incredible players on the show as usual. It's Roland Garros day three. We're going to go through the day's results for the men's and the women's, and then I'll also give you guys my star player of the day. On top of that, we will also then go through all of the matches for tomorrow, and I'll go through quick fire each winner or each predicted winner from my side for those matches too before we get into it remember to that like button do subscribe if you are new and do leave a rating or review if you are listening on a podcast platform let's get into it so gail monfils in the night match played an absolute epic against sebastian baez he was two sets to one up baez took the fourth set six one and then it what what ended up happening in that fifth set was mind-boggling baez took the lead and he was in a he was cantering at four love up in the deciding set. Monfils came back and broke Baez at 6-5. Baez was serving a 5-6 to stay in the set, take it to a tiebreaker. Monfils broke him in great fashion and absolute scenes. Hanfman beat Montero in another five-setter as well. I'll have to warn you, there were a lot of five-setters today, a lot of exciting ones. He was actually two sets of love up. He conceded the two-set lead, but won the deciding set 6-4. Dimitrov beat Timofey in straight sets, donning his Lacoste outfit. So, newly signed to Lacoste and a good victory for him. Fritz beat Michael Moe in straight sets as well. Good win for him. And uh, I think he'll be looking, of course, to continue some of his better clay court form this year. Rudinek beat Gasquet in four sets. Good win for him. I was expecting Gasquet to get through that, uh, but the... The all-French affair ended up going the way of Rydinek. Good win for him. Peya beat Hallis in a really tight match. Look, it's another five-setter. He was two sets to one down, and then he won the last two sets. I mean, Hallis will be distraught because the last two sets were tiebreakers, and he lost both tiebreakers, 7-4 and then 10-4 in the deciding set tiebreaker. That will really hurt Quinton Hallis, and he's had a really good year so far, so let's see how he recovers, but that would definitely sting. Holger Rune beat Eubanks in four sets. Srundalo beat Monar in four sets as well. And Rusevori beat Barrera in five sets, coming from two sets to one down to win in five. And then the biggest upset, in my opinion, of the day, Saboth Wild from Brazil, the unseeded player ranked 172 in the world, beat Medvedev in five sets. He came back from two sets to one down to win in five. And not only did he win in five sets, but you can see the last two sets, they went tiebreakers. He won 6 3, 6 4. Impressive victory from the Brazilian. And the forehand, I have to say, is beautiful. So if you haven't watched him, you should definitely watch him. And I would recommend watching the highlights because there was some great tennis on the show. And he bossed it on Philip Chatria. Medvedev, massive disappointment for him. He was going into it as one of the favorites given he just won Rome, which is very similar in condition and surface to Roland Garros. But. The Rome champion, well, let's just say he wasn't at his best, but I do think the opponent definitely uh, was a tough one. He played some incredible tennis, the Brazilian, and I would say played out of his skin. Uh, definitely the best match of his career. Uh, Zepieri beat Bublik in five sets. Great win for him. An upset, you would say. And Bublik will be disappointed given that he was two sets to one up. Zverev beat Lloyd Harris in three sets as well. Good victory there. Two tiebreakers. Zverev does love a tiebreaker, doesn't he? Uh, but a breadstick in the final set. And then Molkan beat Hugo Gaston in straight sets. Good victory there. And Nishioka beat JJ Wolf coming from two sets to two sets to love down to win in five. Great victory there. Purcell beat Thompson in four. And Olivieri beat. Pericard in five sets, so another five setter. Casper Rude beat Eimer in straight sets, and Jerry beat Delian in straight sets as well. And then look at this this is arguably the best comeback of the day. Another five setter, Vavasori beating Kekmanovic in five sets. He came back from two sets to love down, but not only did he do that, all of the three sets that he won in the third, fourth, and fifth sets were all tiebreakers, and he won them 10 8, 7 3, 11 9. I mean, it doesn't get any tighter than that. Manovic will have nightmares about this match. Tommy Paul beat Stricker in straight sets as well. So uh, really, really good victories all around. And you know what? Before we even go into the women's, I can give you guys my star of the day. It's Saboth Wild. Played an incredible match. And I don't think there is 
any need to even discuss the women's uh, in terms of star of the day because it was just such an incredible upset and fantastic victory. But on the women's side, there were some equally impressive matches. Andreva lost to Navarro in, in three sets. Martic beat Rogers in three sets as well. Uh, Andrescu, who we watched and uh, we saw her come up trumps against Azarenka. She was actually a set down after losing the first set 6-2, but recovered nicely to win 6-3, 6-4 in the second and third sets. Claire Lou also won in straight sets. And Sviontek, who actually looked a pretty, pretty, uh, I would say, off colour for that first set against Buxer. She was a breakdown as well in that first set. And Buxer looked pretty good. Sviontek, though, got the break back, kept on breaking back, and then eventually broke her at 5-4. Buxer serving to stay in the set. She then bageled her in the second set, and normal service resumed. But uh, keep an eye out for Sviontek as the opponents get tougher and tougher. I think she's going to warm into this tournament. She's still the favourite, no doubt. But definitely some signs that she's maybe not playing her best tennis. Uh, Lauren Davis beat Zoo in straight sets as well. Good victory for her. Uh, Rabakina beat Brenda Fravitova, the young and up-and-coming Czech player in straight sets. And Paolini beat Castea in three sets. The young Italian beating the very experienced player in Castea, who's had a very good season so far. So that's a great victory. And Serenko, look at this for an upset. Brenda Krajikova, I mean, 2021 Roland Garros champion goes out and she was en route to play Sviontek in the fourth round I have big question marks around Kuchikova now this year after winning some events and then you know playing well on the hard courts the clay court swing has been a real disappointment given that the grand slam that she won in 2021 was Roland Garros uh, I mean, it's surprising to say the least. Rebus Tomo beat Borel in straight sets and Grava beat Rus in straight sets. Noskova beat Kovanic in straight sets and also got a walkover. Goff beat Masarova in three and Dodin beat Yanjilevich in three as well. Uh, Danilovic beat Kozlova in straights and Jabur. Great to see her back after, of course, some injuries. And given that she lost in the first one of Roland Gauss last year, which is a massive upset, she won in straight sets against Bronzetti. Good to see. Peterson beat Ferrer in straight sets and Wang beat Buzkova, who's a 31st seed in straight sets. A good very good win for Wang and this is actually really helping Sviontek because she was meant to face Buzkova and Krajikova on her way to the title and both players are now gone and this is a big upset as well. Diane Parry beat Kalanina in straight sets. Kalanina made the final of Rome uh, couldn't replicate her form here though and Andreva beat Risk in straight sets the young 16 year old uh, carrying on her fantastic form then we have on the men's side for tomorrow. So let's go through them. Since fast to beat Carabao Spayana for me, I'm going to go with Offner to beat Corder in an upset, Fognini to beat Kubler, Vavrinka to beat Kokinakis. I've got Amber to beat Sanego, and Borges to beat Schwartzman. I've got um, her catch beat Greikspor, Shapovalov. No, I've got Arnaldi to beat Shapovalov, Hachanov to beat Albor. Rublev to beat Mute, Alcraz to beat Tara Daniel, RBA to beat Varelas, Nori to beat Lucas Puy, Davidovich Fakina to beat Van Ash, Musetti to beat Shevchenko, and Djokovic to beat Fuksovic. On the women's side, and by the way, we will be doing Djokovic versus Fuksovic tomorrow, so check that out. We may be doing some other matches, but we're definitely doing that one. Make sure you tune in for the night match. Uh, Sutilina to beat Sanders, Ostapenko to beat Stans, Osorio to beat Mertens. I'm going to go Georgie to beat Pagula in an upset. And it would be an upset. I'm going to go Pavla Cenkova to beat Samsonova. Shari to beat Potapova. Gars- oh, Garcia Blinkova. That's, uh, that's got upset a lot all over it. But I'm going to go Garcia to beat Blinkova. Kasatkina to beat Vondrasova. Mukova to beat Podoroska. Zheng Shinwen to beat Potenseva. Sabalenka to beat Shermanovic. Stevens to beat Gracheva. Begu to beat Irani. Fernandez to beat Tolson, Jean Jean to beat Avenician, and Rakamova to beat Freck. So those are my picks. Guys, let me know what you thought of today's play as well. I thought it was a fantastic day of tennis, some incredible results, and some real high quality tennis on show. Tomorrow we've got some of the superstars out on the show again as well. Remember to that like button. Do subscribe if you are new, and do leave a rating or review if you listen on a podcast platform. We'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. We do appreciate you. 
see you tomorrow for day four.